Now, the newly introduced digital service tax is likely to slow down the growth of businesses engaged in e-commerce and trading on other online platforms. Players in the sector say the industry is still nascent and needs more time before such tax measures are imposed. Denis Otieno reports. In November last year, the Kenya Revenue Authority announced its intention of expanding its tax base by roping in transactions from the digital platform. We have devised mechanisms of obtaining independent information to verify. For example, we will go through the card issuers, the MasterCard, the visas, uh, to get that information. We will work with the Communication Authority of Kenya. We will work with other institutions like Central Bank of Kenya. We will work with banks to ensure we get information on those transactions. The migration to the ICT platform for businesses uh, is not only huge, but beyond the expectation of the time. And that's why we need to run with it. And true to KRA's words, the digital service tax is now operational, having come into force on the 2nd of this month. The Finance Act 2020 introduced the tax on income from services provided through the digital marketplace in Kenya. It will be applied at 1.5% on the gross transaction value. The move has caused jitters in the sector, with players calling for more time, even as they continue to engage the government on the matter. We are behind in terms, in terms of transition. It's, it's still very young, and then we start seeing tax coming, and it's not only the, uh, that uh, DST tax, it's the, there are other plans around. And... Um, we think that the sector should be left to grow. Players fear the measure might derail growth as economies are still reeling from the impact of COVID-19 pandemic. By June this year, KRA projects to raise more than 5 billion shillings from the digital service tax. Non-resident enterprises will contribute a huge chunk of this as they dominate Kenya's digital marketplace. Because we cannot give up everything as a country and, and attract people and then there's nothing we are necessarily benefiting as a, as a country. So one, I don't think that Kenya is the first country to have a digital tax. And I don't think that will be the last. And I don't believe that this will be something that interferes with the way people are looking at uh, investment. But we are engaging the government. Uh, you have uh, uh, play players within the sector are explaining things. Denis Otieno, Citizen TV.